Hello! Today I will show you how to use Bullet Points Template for Final Cut X and Motion 5. To use Bullet Points inside of Final Cut X, just click on your Titles Browser button, go to Motion Master Templates, and then either double click or drag bullet points to your timeline. Once you have brought it over to your timeline, just select your clip and click on your inspector. And you can close your Titles browser. Inside of your inspector, under Title, you'll find different options on how to animate the each line in. So if you want to rotate it in, If you want to add a fade as well, or you can turn off the rotate. You can also zoom it in so it starts off small and it grows. And you have also the option how you want it to be pushed in. You can have it pushed in from the left, from the right, from the top, from the bottom, or no push at all. If you click on no push, the line would just appear without any push at all. I can just add a fade if I want, if I want something very simple. Okay. You can also choose what kind of bullet icon you want, what kind of bullet mark you want. You can choose from star to a check mark with a circle. A check mark alone, the star, a dash, an arrow, a diamond, an X, a heart, or no icon at all. So I'll choose arrow for this demonstration. You can also select how many bullets you want. So depending on how many lines you have, you would add the amount of bullets. So if I add some more text, so I will click on the text button. And then I will add, let me copy this last line and I'll paste it underneath. Let me just change the first word. Let me add another one as well. And if you want to bring this further down or adjust this text, just double click on your text inside of your actual viewer. You can adjust where it starts, where the text starts and where it, the text ends. Okay. And now since we have two extra lines, I need to add two extra markers. So to do that, I just go back to title, to my title settings. And then just go to where it says number of bullets and increase it to seven because I have seven lines. I can also adjust the scale of the bullets if I want to make them bigger or smaller. Let's make them nice and big. And I can also adjust where the first bullet starts and where the last bullet ends. And I can also adjust the position. Okay. You can also adjust the color of your bullet points. You can add a drop shadow to the bullet points if you want. I want to pop out a little bit. And the spin bullets and grow bullets 
is a little animation I added just to give it a little motion. So the all the whole all the bullets can spin or grow. So if I turn off spin, you see it goes flat and all it does is grow. And I can also turn off the grow and it just stays flat and does no motion at all. Or you can just do spin if you just want to spin alone. That will do just a grow. As far as the background, you have either pink, teal, or you can customize it with whatever color you want. And you also have the option to change the vignette, which is the dark little sh which is a dark little edge just to give it a little more depth. It's very subtle, but it gives it a little slight dimension to it. If you want to change the text, just click on the text button and just change the text in here. If you like to change the font, just select all the text and then choose from a different font. Click on it. You can also adjust the line spacing. You can also adjust the, the color of the, the font. You can add a, an outline adjust the colors and the width of the outline as well. You can add a glow, and you can add a drop shot if you want as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you do not want a background, you can just also click none and you can put this over anything you would like. A video, a photograph, or some crazy little design. So that's pretty much it. This is a simple and quick way to add bullet points to your video presentation. Uh, next up, I'll show you how to use this inside of Motion 5. Okay, now I will show you how to use bullet points inside of Motion 5. First thing you need to do inside of Motion 5 is go to File, New from Project Browser, then go down to Final Cut Titles, Motion Master Templates, and then click on Bullet Points. And then click on Open. Once your template has opened inside of Motion 5, just click on your Timeline button. It's located at the bottom of the program. And then click on Project. And this is where you'll find all your parameters, just like inside of Final Cut X. To change the text inside of Motion 5, just double click on your text, and then add your text, or change your text. So for this demonstration, I'm going to add two more lines, and I am going to change the wording. Okay. Now I will show you how to customize this template. Just, first thing you need to do is click on Project on your project layer. And then click on Inspector and Project. Once you're inside your project settings, you can choose what kind of animation you want your text to do as it comes in. You can either rotate it in which what it does is give it a nice slight rotation. You can also fade it in, so turn it on or off. And you can also zoom it in. And you can turn any of these on or off as you wish. You can turn them all off, and all it does is a push. You can also choose what kind of uh, push you want. You can do push from the left, push from the right, push from top, or push from bottom.
And then you can add your zoom in or fade or rotate if you want to add a little additional animation. So I'll just add a fade in. So as the text is coming in, it's fading in. You can also choose the color you want your, your bullet to be. So for this, I'm going to change it to, uh, let's make it red. And you can also change the type of bullet that you want. So for this one, I'm going to give it a, let me give it a diamond. Okay, and then you adjust the number of bullets. So depending on how many lines you have, you will choose how many bullets you want. So here I have seven lines, so I'll choose seven bullets. And I can also adjust the size of the bullet if I want to make it big or nice and small. So I will make it smaller. And where it says bullet top, you will choose where the bullet point will start. So you'll drag this either left or right. So you get right next to the line. And then bullet bottom, you will choose where the last bullet will end. And that's it. And then you can adjust the position. So if you want to bring it close to the text, right next to the text, a little further away. And then you can also fine tune the up and down positioning of the, te of the bullets. You can also add a small little drop shadow to your bullets. You can either turn that on or off. And you can also spin the bullets or grow the bullets or both. So what this will allow you to do is uh, give it a slight spin to the whole bullet and text. So the whole bullet point will spin or it will grow throughout the whole animation. I will just give it a little bit of movement uh, to your whole animation. So if I turn the spin off, you'll see it just lays flat, but there's still a, a small grow to the animation. So the animation will grow throughout your timeline. And then you can turn on the spin if you want, if you wanted to give it a nice little spin. Okay. You can either turn that on or off. So I'm going to turn it off now. And as far as the background, you have either a custom color, a teal color, pink, or none. I will choose custom, and I'll choose this background to be a little bit of on a reddish side. And you can also turn on or off the vignette. So by clicking on vignette, you'll turn the vignette on or off, which just gives a little bit more dimension, a little bit more depth. It's very subtle, very slight. If you want to change the text inside of here, you'll use your text parameter. Just double click on the text. And once inside of your text parameter, you can change the font, you can change the alignment, you can change the format of your text, style of your text and customize it whichever way you want. Once you get your template looking exactly the way you want it to, all you need to do is go up to share and then click export. And that is all. If you have any questions or comments, please visit the website and click on the contact page. Thank you and have a wonderful day. MotionMasterTemplates.com